Well, I started in this business way back in 1974. And I must say that Europe, it, well, was my biggest market. And I'm afraid that it has actually shrunk considerably, uh, which is sad, very sad. That is Lizard, and we did these for a very special customer. And there it is. The model is wearing one of our narrow belts. You probably recognize the colors here, perhaps, if you're a tennis player. <laughs> During 2021, the the complexity of shipping, the additional brokerage charges, and the unexpected and uh, unjustified charges for duty, which the customer has to pay, have really affected business. Now, you've got this, plus that, plus that. And because my business is small, we don't invoice, you know, 100,000 pounds per customer. You know, the average invoice is about 500 to 600 pounds. So if you start adding brokerage charges and <laughs> duties which should not have been charged, it, it really compromises the business. And that's exactly what's been happening. As an example, this is a German customer. She got the goods on, I think it was the 12th of December. And DHL delivered them and said, oh, excuse me, but in addition to the brokerage charge, etc." There are 98 euros 60 worth of duty. So she said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not paying that. So I raised it with DHL. They came back with this six page document in German, which I don't understand. And I said, sorry, I don't understand this. She came back to me again today and she said, ah, if you want to take it further, then the consignee has to raise it with DHL in Germany and for them to consider the issue they require a payment of 50 euros plus German VAT. I said you have to be joking for a complaint that you, that of a mistake that you have made you're charging the customer another 50 euros and plus VAT. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Whilst in the past you hardly had to fill in form upon form, now it's a lottery. It may, may not, and if it doesn't, it can actually, you know, slap you. They slap you duties unnecessarily and incorrectly. And to try and get that money back, you can you can dream, unfortunately. I came onto the front line in 1994. As things progressed, things got easier and easier and easier. And it was, it was just a pleasure to deal with, with Europe. I, I had n no issues at all. And the business, from a very humble beginning, grew, grew and grew. Come 2021, and it's all terrible absolutely terrible but you know there was rejoicing about Brexit and oh we've, we've taken back our sovereignty etc 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 and I don't think anybody was really aware of the consequences the real consequences of Brexit and how it is sort of you know everything started to cave in I would urge the government to think very carefully about the effect of Brexit on small businesses. Small businesses have suffered, will suffer, and will suffer even more after January the 1st this year. It is a very serious issue, very, very serious issue. 